One thing I forgot to uh, mention in the Miguel Moraga and Vasyl um react immediate reaction video was the simple fact that um, Lomachenko didn't call out, you know, Reagan Dow or Mikey Garcia or anybody else. He said, I'm, for, I'm ready for anybody, you know, and, and that's one of them top rank cries. And I'll explain that in a minute. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with the Boxing Clinic. Um, when I say that's one of those uh, top rank cries, it's back to like Pacquiao. Well, that's my promoter. That's my promoter. You know, I just do what my promoter say. And basically, that's what, I, what it was with Lomachenko. You know, um, he really wanted to fight Rigadal. Like, he'd been waffling. You know, I did videos on him waffling several times. And I like uh, Lomachenko. Um, letting his man, you know, act like he can't speak English. And letting his uh, manager in his answer the questions and them ducking around him. Um, he even ducked around the rematch with, with Salido. He act like he didn't want that rematch. Um, even though they entered the negotiations and Tank stole stole Salido away. But Salido got injured. And he been waffling and tiptoeing and tap dancing around a lot of questions, especially around Vasile, Vasile, Grandma Rigandal. And last night was a perfect opportunity for him to call out Rigandal and um, get it popping. Because let's be frank, Rigandal and Lomachenko should have been happening last night on ESPN. And apparently Bob Arum is going around telling people that he's negotiating with Rock Nation and all that shit. And if negoti if they're negotiating um, and, and it's going pretty well, then why wouldn't Lomachenko call out Rigandal? For one... Lomachenko don't want to fight Rigandile. He said, he said, and I quote, I ain't looking to fight Rigandile, you know. But, you know, if I basically fight him, paraphrase right here, if I, if I have to fight him, you know, I'm going to destroy him like a tank, you know. Like I said, he don't want to fight him, you know. He, he don't want to. He would have called him out last night and got, and got it popping, and that could have been a kickoff to, to, to a good promotion, you know. The all-night promotion yesterday, last night was all about Lomachenko, you know. Trying to sell him as his next great defensive offensive wizard that's better than Floyd Mayweather. They said Floyd Mayweather's name second most to anybody on the broadcast last night. You know, it was Lomachenko, then Floyd Mayweather. And, um, oh, he finishes people. Floyd was finishing guys at 130 and 135 as well. So, um, um, it's funny how quickly people forget history. But at the end of the day, you know, Floyd was calling out Shane Mosley, Eric Morales, Barrera, all those guys he was calling them out. And Lomachenko ain't built like that. He ain't cut like that. He ain't calling nobody name out. You know, I'm just ready for everybody. A real vague motherfucking um, uh, call out. And it's really going to be telling about who he fights next. And the only acceptable opponents that I would accept next in his next fight is uh, Rigondeaux, Salido, Tevin Farmer, Javante Tank Davis, Mikey Garcia, uh, and Robert Easter Jr. Anybody, you know, less of that is, is, is bullshit. Um, if he goes out there, and unless he moves up to 135 and... and he wants a groundbreaking fight at 135, to, to, you know, to get the, you know, to break the ground at 135. I don't have an issue with that. If he goes around and fights a bullshit fight at 130 again, man, you know, it's just, it's just telling, you know. Um, but I don't think he gonna fight Rigg. I know he's not gonna fight Rigg and Dial. Rigg and Dial knows this. Um, Bob Ram saying we negotiating. No, he not. They didn't want Rigg and Dial to fight Lomachenko when um, Rigg and Dial was with. Um, top rank they're making all these lies about these catch ways these rehydration uh clauses on uh, the money the split and um you know rigor i just want to fight of course you want to be paid nicely but he won he said he wasn't asking for all that money and they said the same thing my mikey garcia he asked for too much money anybody outside the type top rank house uh you know tap dancing jigaboo house is always asking for too much money that they can't get options on so that's 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 all it is man they're not going to put this guy in there with, with rigging and he don't want to be there with Rigondeaux. If he really wanted to fight Rigondeaux, he'd go to Bob Aram's office and tell him, hey, let's make the fight happen. I want to fight this guy. But like he said, he's not looking to fight him, so he's not going to call him out. And for whatever reason, he has a lack of confidence in even fighting Rigondeaux with him moving up potentially eight pounds to challenge him at super featherweight. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, he seemed a little bitch made, but we gone.